How's everybody doing tonight? On YouTube, on TikTok, just for quick, quick one tonight, all right? Quick one, just to let you guys know, I was trying to go live earlier and having some internet issues. So, I know it's a little late. It's 11.15, 11.13 here Eastern Time, so hopefully I didn't wake anybody up. But, just to let you guys know, we did extend the sale. Like I said, that we probably were going to because we had a boatload of emails. All right. So we did extend the, extend the sale through tonight. All right. Todd, what up? Pilar, Bridget, how are you? Love and Life, Jeff, Brooke, Rody. What's up, TikTok crew? What's up, Chuck? What's up, Barb? So what I wanted to show you real quick, though, I was just working on. And I got both these cameras going. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Um, let's try it this way. I'm going to bring you guys over here. So I just made... I'm going to flip you guys around YouTube. And I'll flip you guys around this way. And you guys should be able to see it. It'll probably be upside down for you. And TikTok, I'm going to bring you guys over this way as well. And show you what I just did. And I'm gonna make a video for it as well, of course. Let me flip the camera around here. So, check out this decal right here. So this is a layered decal, all right? It's just one of our cardinals out of our um, mascot pack on the website, all right? So there's a local travel team that are the Cardinals. So nothing to do with St. Louis. You guys know, I can't, those are the Cubbies rivals. So we don't like St. Louis, but local travel team here. But what I did, yeah, candy apple, baby. So the orange for the beak is the Sunfire, Color Spark Sunfire. The red is the candy apple. And you can see how it kind of changes the colors as I move it around. And then the black in the back is the matte black. Now, question is, what do you guys think the white is? What's the white vinyl right there? What would be your guess? And I don't know if I can... Ooh! Uh-oh. YouTube. Oh, yeah, baby. How about it, YouTube? Ready? The white is white reflective. Yep. So the white, when the light hits it, in a dark spot anywhere, and... I can't really cover it up, but can you guys see it a little bit there? So let me see. I know YouTube, if I disable the flash, see how it just goes away? And then when I enable the flash, boom. Reflective sign vinyl. It isn't just heat transfer vinyl, right? It is sign vinyl as well. So, and I've talked about this many times. I've talked about this many times, not as much, obviously, on TikTok, because I haven't been on the TikTok lives as much, but what is something that I always talk about with the outside, with the sign vinyl for the reflective? What's something that anyone could run an entire, in my opinion, I know I could, especially here in Florida, <laughs> you're upside down because it's the way I have to have the camera. It's the only way. Let me see if I can possibly change it. Hold on. So if I flip here, it's going to show a little bit of the holder. But actually, it won't be that bad. There you go. Is that better? Are you guys not dizzy now? So where mailboxes, baby. Yes, all day long. So reflective sign vinyl, you could literally run an entire business just doing mailboxes and houses or whatever. Because, especially here in Florida, I mean, 
most houses have mailboxes at the end of the driveway and having reflective sign vinyl with their numbers. I mean, obviously they sell just those basic numbers at Lowe's and Home Depot and whatnot, but now you could get entire addresses on there, completely custom for them, throw a little logo on there, throw some a little flower, I don't know, whatever they want, right? But pretty freaking sweet to mix. And this is what I always love to do because most people would look at this decal. Now, does this decal make sense to sell a hundred of them? Probably not, right? Because, and I'm going to make a TikTok video of it once we get off here and I'll run through a TikTok tutorial of it. So stay tuned for it probably in about an hour or so. But I actually had to layer, and just to let you know the way that I layered these, okay, obviously I use my parchment paper, and here's the thing. I went, my first color I did was the red, candy apple red, and then, that's the opal, and then my second color was the white. You can see the red is layered on top of the white. Third color, I did the opal sunfire, and then the last one, I layered it all on top of the matte black. I love the base layer being just a basic color because had I, okay, and just think about this as you guys are doing this, okay? Had I done this base layer as some type of opal or like a black metallic or something like that, it would have taken away from the actual cardinal part of the design, right? So I don't want that to take away. But the baseball and the cards right there, by doing that in the white sign vinyl, now when light hits it at night, you're still going to be able to read cards baseball. So it gives it kind of the best of all three worlds. It gives the flat look, it gives the reflective look, and then it gives the opal look as far as like the color changing. So this is something I always love to do. Now, if they wanted a hundred of these, honestly, what I would do is this would be my super premium version, obviously, right? So honestly, a decal like this, for me to sell a custom decal like this, and obviously I would put like the player's number or something on it just to make it custom, to make it even better, okay? But... I would probably charge a minimum of, shoot, I would say 17 bucks. I'm serious. 15, I'm even scared to go 15 because of the four layers. Because the layering probably took, I would say it took at least five minutes. But I had to weed it all as well. So... 15 for this one, okay, but don't freak out because you say, oh man, that's an insane amount for a car window decal. I'm going to offer, offer them a Versacam version that's a full color print. If they buy a minimum of, let's say, 20 of them, 25 of them, I might offer those Versacam versions for five bucks. So, because the Versacam version... Honestly, like not even lying, and I have the smaller one, the 30 inch, I could probably make a hundred of these with my print cut machine in, oh shoot, 10, 15 minutes max. Probably 15 minutes just because the print time going back and forth, depending on the quality that I put on it. It would probably take me 15 minutes because it's going to print it. It's going to come back. It's going to do the cut on it. And the only thing I need to do is it's a one pull weed and then application tape. So where you can, I see a lot of you asking, what is the Versacam? So those of you on TikTok and obviously those of you on YouTube, what you want it, I actually just did a video. Um, I think I posted it this weekend on the Sting Baseball fundraiser decals. So go check that out on TikTok. It's just a quick little video with sound to it, 
but you'll see the VersaCam printer printing, and then you'll see me actually weed it and app tape it and cut it, and I make like literally 20 decals in probably five minutes. But you also got to remember that's a, depending on the size you get, it could be a $7,000 to $20,000 machine. Make sense? All right, so let me flip the cameras around here. So everybody understands the different materials and everything I used in that? Again, I see a lot of you that just joined recently and are asking. So the red right here, and I'll grab the rolls. Give me one second. I'll grab a Sunfire. Let me grab Sunfire white, black. And where is my, let me get the candy apple red here. Candy apple red is this guy here. All right, so this is the candy apple red color spark. And you can see it gets like a reddish and a purple and a gold and a silver as it kind of rotates around. This one here is the sunfire. All right, this one here is the reflective, color spark white, white reflective sign vinyl, and then this is the matte black. So the matte black, again, is the base layer, and then the sunfire, you can see how it changes from the yellow to the orange to kind of the reddish to the pinkish candy apple, and then white reflective. What do you guys think? Does this decal, I want your opinion because I know what I think. Does this decal really stand out to you guys? Like really look different than just a basic printed decal? Can you guys see all of the color changing effects to it and I know TikTok, you guys can't really see it because I can't throw the light on it, but the cards and the baseball and the white is reflective. So if I were to go to a customer, okay, if I were to go to a customer, I said, I got a decal for you for 15 bucks, they would look at me like I'm freaking crazy, right? If I said this was 15 bucks, 20 bucks. However, if I go to them with this and then I go to them with my printed version of it that I did on a VersaCam. So I'm comparing both of them. And I say, because we're always going to have those customers that want the cheapest one, right? So if I can then say, hey, I got this one right here that's seven bucks. I got this one that's 15 bucks. Which one do you want? I guarantee you a good amount of them will choose, choose the $15 one because they want the one that stands out. They want the one that's unique, right? However, some of them are obviously going to look for the, the cheapest route and they're going to get that $7 one, but now you're making everybody happy. And believe me, that $7 one, they're going to eventually be like, damn it, I should have got the $15 one. Because it looks that much better, especially when they're driving to a night game and they see the reflective reflecting like that. Yep. Then the cool thing is you might get two sales from them. You sold them the $7 one, they take that off and come and buy the $15 one. I love it when that happens. All right. Let me... Let me flip around here for you guys. Flip around here for you guys, TikTok. And YouTube. Let's flip you guys around here. All right, what kind of questions we got? What you got for me tonight? What's up, Carlos? How are you? What's the lifespan of print cut on a car window? Um, Ash, it depends. So, for example, on my print cuts, it's an eco-solvent printer, the Roland VersaCam. And with no laminate, okay, no laminate on it, when I was always making the full-color decals, when I did all of the finished product side of it, I was getting probably about a year, year to two years, 
on a decal. A year to two years on a decal. And that honestly was perfect for me because I don't want, honestly, those decals to last that long because if that decal lasts too long, they're not going to come back and get another one, right? One to two years is, I wish, like almost all of our signed vinyls have a five-year outdoor life. To be honest, I wish they had like a one-year outdoor life because when that soccer player is a freshman in high school, I would kind of like it to start fading a little bit after a year. So they have to come back and buy another one their sophomore year or their junior year. More sales for us, right? Now, where you want one that's going to last and where you'll want to, for example, on a Roland Versicam, actually get the laminator and laminate it so it gets that three to five year outdoor life possibly longer is when you do something for like a storefront window for a business or something like that. Um, I wish I had that shadow. <laughs> Pilar, right? By the way, how many of you guys from last night have used the shadow font already? Now, when you break it apart, obviously it takes a little bit of getting used to, but remember you had zero, zero opportunity to do that before and we're already just to let you know we are already work because we've got so many responses from it today and so many emails we are already we are already making new ones uh too expensive um a, a quality girl just to let you know that price that you see on the website it's 65 percent off right now but you won't see that discount until checkout so it says $30 on the website, but it's only $10.50. And that's the sale that's ex extended through tonight. So $10.50, think about labor cost, okay? Think about labor cost. For you to try to do that on your own, what's it going to take you? Like, honestly, if you're using design space, 45 minutes, an hour, pop, maybe longer for one name. It just paid for itself right there. Yeah, so a quality girl, just to let you know, all day, every day, our designs and fonts and everything are 50% off. But right now we have the 65% off sale going on. And it is extended through tonight. But you won't see that coupon. You won't see that discount until checkout. Okay. 100%. How many of you, how many of you guys here are um, Cricut users? Cricut users, where are you at? So if you have Silhouette Designer Edition, you can create offsets. So if you have our original Flutter, Flutter font, you're good with that. You don't need necessarily the Flutter Shadow, right? But anybody that uses Design Space, woo! I cut, I cut an $8,000 order a month after I got the wizard, used my Explorer to, <laughs> I remember that, Pilar. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? It's funny because that's, whenever, whenever anybody's business kind of gets to that point where you make that next level and you turn over, there's always, I had one of those with my little 12 inch cutter where I did a fundraiser that was, we 24 hours straight like three days and i had like a lot of my different baseball players helping and everything is awesome um the cricket software is absolutely miserable i 100 percent agree with you the only reason i've even ever touched that software in my life is to teach you guys how to use our fonts how to use our designs as you guys know i went and bought the Cricut Easy Press, just to show you that you can press stones with the Easy Press. The Cricut Explorer Air 2, just to show you that you can cut Magic Flock with the Explorer Air 2. The Cricut Joy, just to show you that you can cut all of our materials with the Cricut Joy. And I went and paid for those at Michael's. Actually, I got the Explorer Air on Amazon because Michael's was sold out. I got the press at Michael's. I got the joy at Michael's and I'm ordering a maker now, but they're almost impossible to find. 
It's like the cameos right now. They're hard to find. Um, yes, if you have not got it, gotten anything yet, I would recommend the cameo. However, listen to this, and I'm going to save you guys some money right here, okay? Listen, if you have the Cricut, so the Cricut Cutter, okay, the Explore Air 2 and the Maker aren't miserable, okay? Honestly, the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and the Cameo are very similar cutters. What makes such a big difference is the software, right? So what you can do is you can actually get the, um, the Cameo software all right, you can get the silhouette. Now, you would need the silhouette, um, the business edition, which is a little more expensive. But if you want kind of a beginner software, get the business edition software for the silhouette, for the Cameo. You'll create your design in the software, export it. Now, the business edition is the only one that you can export it as an SVG, okay? And then you would bring that SVG file into Design Space and cut it on your Cricut. So if those of you who have a Cricut right now that want a more affordable solution to be able to do more designing, that is it. And that's, honestly, I'm telling you a way to not spend money, more money on my website. But I know that's going to help you. And the way I look at it, if you can save $200 and not have to buy a new cutter right now, hey, that could be money that could go towards some Color Spark vinyl that's going to make you money, right? And then the benefit of that is down the road as your business grows, maybe you're not ready to upgrade to a graph tech yet, but you do want a second craft cutter. Then you get the cameo and now you have a cameo and a cricket and your, your workflow producing twice as much. Yes. Purchase the silhouette software's business edition because with the business edition, of the Silhouette software, you can export the SVG file, okay? If you just have Silhouette Studio or Silhouette Designer Edition, you can't do that because you can't export the SVG out. With the Business Edition, you can export the SVG file out of it and then bring that SVG file into Design Space ready to go, right? And then just cut it on your Cricut. And then you got a better software that easy, right? And honestly, um, I know Silhouette has different deals at times on their website as well for the software. So check there as well. I say get it. I mean, we sell it on our website, but if you can get it for $20, $30 cheaper somewhere else, whatever it is, hey, save 30 bucks. It's not going to hurt my feelings. You're a business. That's what you need to do. Um, to get the silhouette, we have the silhouette software on our website. Yes, we do. Yes, I can show you. Do you guys want to see real quick? I'll run through it real quick. I think I'll be able to. Let me see if I can just point both the cameras over here. So let me flip this one around. TikTok will be a little bit more difficult because of the view of, and YouTube well, oh yeah, all you all-star members, all-star members, just to let you know, I put the Hustle Hard design on the website probably about, when did you guys get the alert? Maybe 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. So the Hustle Hard design for all-star members from last night, and I'll show you which one I'm talking about. Let me get you guys over here a little bit, TikTok. Um, this one right here. The shirt that we made last night, that file for all you all-star YouTube members is free on the website. 
And also, if you want, I'm sure everybody that's here was probably there last night. But also, make sure if you do join the membership that you join it through your computer web browser. Don't join it on your Apple app. If you join it through Apple on YouTube, it'll charge you $24.99 a month. Apple collects that extra $5. So if you join it through your computer, it's only $19.99 a month. That was a big discovery, wasn't it? That was freaking sweet. All right. Um, let me see if I... Oh, I still do have Cricket in here. So this is... This is the, I'm in design space right now, okay? So the font, and I'm just going to type out, um, oh, I'm just looking real quick. I got, Lisa, what you can do is downgrade your account and then re-up your account. So downgrade to the Little, Little League membership and then upgrade to the All-Star membership on your computer. So Lisa K was just asking, so I'm going to just do, I'm just going to type out Lisa real quick. Easy name to do. So there's my Lisa there. And now I'm going to use the shadow font. And the shadow font is the brand new one we just released last night. I got Flutter Shadow 1 and Flutter Shadow 2. So what I do with this font is I'm going to take this here. I'm going to bring in my letter spacing a little bit here. And I'll be able to adjust it all in a minute. I'm going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to... this. The second font is the Flutter Shadow 2. Okay? So it's actually two different fonts. Now, all of you that use Design Space, you know what's going on right here, right? Because this is going to make your life so freaking much easier. So what I can do is I can bring these letters in a little bit and then I'm going to ungroup them and I'm going to send the purple ones to the back. And let's just move that to there. Now I'm going to ungroup the black ones here and I'm going to take this L, this I, this S, and this A and now I can easily just put these wherever I want. Let's move that a little bit closer there. And let's move that to maybe right there. And this font's done. And that's ready to go. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? So those of you who have the wizard, those of you who have the silhouette software, that what I just did, we can do in a fraction of the time of what it took right there, okay? But those of you who use, those of you who use des, um, design space, that's like mind-blowing, right? Because you guys know how hard it is to make a, a custom name like that where it has the backdrop. And just to let you know, we are working on right now, because this is what we do, okay? We just, we hook you guys up. So we are working on another outline around this. So it'll actually be shadow three, where it has a small contour around it. Because that way, who knows what that last, that third contour would be for. What do you think? What would be your guess? HTV anything, baby. So, what, or Vinyl Shield, 100%. Yes. So, HTV anything or Vinyl Shield. So, I got the question today of, hey, Matt, I got this font. I freaking love it. I used ColorSpark. I used this. And I made a Tumblr. What if I want to do HTV anything and glitter heat transfer vinyl. How do I get my third layer to be able to do that? And I was like, oh shit. Yeah, let's do that. So just to let you know, everybody that bought this font, the shadow font, it'll probably be, 
it takes a little while to create these, okay? So it'll probably be later this week, probably late this week. But when I make that update, all you have to do is just go back to your order history and you'll download Shadow um, TRW Flutter Shadow 3. And that will be that small outline there. And it's no extra charge. So, and that's the thing. And again, those of you who don't know me, most businesses, and most of you would pay for it, right? Most businesses would charge for that. So, if I did create that, let's just say this. Hey, guys, this font's awesome. I'm going to create a third layer for you to use for HTV anything and to use for Vinyl Shield. And I'm only going to charge you uh, uh, seven bucks for it. Don't you think most of you would pay that seven dollars because it's going to save you so much time? Right? Don't worry. If you say yes, I'm not going to charge you $7 for it. But you would because time is money. But again, this is a font we already created. Yes, there's going to be probably a good four to six hours of creating the third font to it. So it lines up correctly. But again, exactly, BK. That's also the reason why you guys come to my lives. You know I'm not going to BS you. You know I'm going to be honest with you. So it's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. All right. So I told you I was going to be quick on here tonight. Just wanted to hop on. But just to let you guys know, the sale is still going on right now. Because we did have a lot of new people that were having issues checking out last night. So, like, for example, all of the, all the vinyls that I used on this one are all Color Spark vinyls. So, they are all 15% off with the sale going on. Um, I just saw a question. Let me see, Adrian. Man, I want to upgrade <coughs> from my Cricut and Cameo. Uh, I don't do a lot with... Design with a small detail. I just want to know. Um, Adrian, 100% no. Um, no. We, we carried those cutters. We actually sold a couple of them and they got returned. They are a large, basically what it is is a large cameo. And again, I'm being honest with you. It's, it's a stepper motor. It's not a servo motor. So, honestly, I, I would not do it. I would stick with your Cameo or a Cricut or whatever you have and then get to the point where you can get one of these. Okay? Even if it's the 15-inch graph tech. The main thing you're looking for when you upgrade cutters, okay, the main thing you look for when you upgrade cutters is the motor. A stepper motor is what's in the Cameo 4. A stepper motor is in the Cricut. A stepper motor is in the Cameo 3. A stepper motor is in the Cricut Joy. All right? A lot of, like, the U.S. cutters are stepper motors. The servo motor is what makes it so much more expensive because it's a much better, much faster, much better cut everything. Okay? Um, the Cameo Pro is nice. We have them. I know not many people have them in stock, if any really right now. We do have the Cameo Pros, but again, don't think of the Cameo Pro... Here, let me flip you guys around here so you can see me. Give me a second here. Flip. Flip. All right. Don't think of the Cameo 4 as an upgrade for... And this is why a Cameo and Cricut is 300 and the Graph Text 1200. 100% right. Um... 
Don't think of the Cameo Pro as an upgrade for your actual cutting ability, okay? The Cameo Pro is an upgrade for your cutting, cutting size, okay? It's an upgrade for your cutting size. Everything about the cutter is basically the exact same as that, all right? Basically the exact same as the Cameo 4. It's just a big version of it. All right? So when you see it, I mean, it's nice because you can cut 24 inch material, but if you're, if you're never really running into the issue of having to cut bigger designs, then it probably won't be worth it. Here's, okay, you guys want my recommendation? Here we go. Here's what I would recommend. I see a lot of people that are wanting to upgrade to the Cameo Pro, okay? Number one, because it sounds cool and it's big, right? Let me give you, and again, this is just my personal opinion, my, my benefits of having versus not having, all right? The benefit of the 24 inch Pro is it's 24 inches. So I could do a bigger wall decals. If I'm doing um, a lot of business stuff, storefront windows with um, their, their logo and a phone number and stuff like that, that's bigger, Tanya, appreciate your support, Major Leaguer, then cutting a lot of bigger sign vinyl for advertising on the back of car windows, stuff like that, where what you normally do is you cut it on your 12 inch and you have to cut multiples and then line them all up. Cameo Pro could make sense for you, okay? The other benefit of the Cameo Pro is this. What was the other? Oh, <laughs> that means there's not too many benefits, damn it. Uh, the other benefit is this. With the 20 inch, with the 20 inch um, heat transfer vinyls, like glitter, um, a lot of the reflectives. So any of your 20 inch materials, you don't have to trim them down anymore. And you guys know that's a pain in the butt, right? Having to trim down your vinyls. So that's another benefit of it is you don't have to trim down those 20 inch wide vinyls, okay? Here, now, the Cameo Pro is $499, right? Here's what I would recommend. If you're doing it to help with production and the 24 inch width isn't the main reason why you're doing it, don't just go freaking buy a $500 cutter because it's the new thing and it's shiny. It's not even shiny. It's the same. So don't go buy it just because it's new and other people say it's cool, okay? Here's what I would recommend. I would recommend if you're doing it for a production side and because you only have one cutter that's not keeping up with what you're doing, right? I would get another 12 inch. And now you have, and you're only spending $300 instead of 499. So now you have $200 that can go towards supplies but you also have another cutter and you have this cutter doing your magic clock templates and you have this cutter doing your decal order. And then you have this cutter, like when you only have one 24 inch, makes sense. I mean, I would even, depending on what your business is and what you do, like when I first started my business and was growing it and I was doing the events and I was doing all of the car window decals at these events, you know what I would have done? If I had 12, you know what I would have done? This is completely honest, but this wasn't an option back in the day, okay? If I had $1,200, what cutter do you think I would buy? I want to get your guys' opinion. $1,200, how would I spend that, uh, not necessarily what cutter, how would I spend that $1,200? <coughs> Let me know what you think. I know exactly what I would do. I see some of you are on it. I see some of you are on it. 
$1,200. A Cameo is $300. 36912. I would have bought four Silhouette Cameos. I'm dead serious. I would have bought four Silhouette Cameos. And this is what I was saying wasn't available back in the day. I would have gotten the Business Edition and I would have had all four Cameos running off my Business Edition to because what I did, obviously, I did all the custom sports decals with the custom name. It had a little baseball player and it said, uh, Mustangs, Johnny number 12, um, Bruins, Steve number 14, Patriots, Johnny number 11, and so on. But having four different cutters, I'm able to send, okay, two of them to cutter one, that's cutting. Now I'm setting up my other designs, two of them to cutter two, setting up my other dines, two to cutter three, two to cutter four. Now cutter one's finishing. So either me or someone can start weeding those. I'm getting the next one set up, boom. Now those are going, those are going. And you're just starting that assembly line. And that's what I did. I just had some really super cheap, bad 12 inch cutters. I The most I ever had, because that was the most I could do at one time, when my business was the biggest, when I was the decal world, I had six in my trailer. I purchased a trailer and I would bring the trailer to the events and I had six 12 inch cutters. And I've told you guys this story before. You know how I used to do it, right? I had a, a long ass USB cord and I would have my laptop here in the trailer. I would plug it into the first one Boom, get it started, unplug it, and I would have to go plug it, that same USB into the second one. Boom, plug it into the third one, unplug it, plug it into the fourth one, and I would have to get them all started and then work my way back. It's a lot cooler nowadays. What else we got? It was awesome though. I. Why didn't I have more than six? Six was the most I could really keep up with. Where I could design it quick enough and get it started cutting before the other one was done. <coughs> and those were all stepper motors, yes. Another thing you'll notice with the stepper motor is um, you'll get a lot more rounded corners versus nice, crisp, sharp corners. Oh, by the way, today is um, Pilar. When is Todd's thing? Friday, right? I'm going to get the link out. And I'm going to talk about it in Thursday's live. But any of you guys... Any of you guys that are looking to get some some good business advice from an actual copyright slash trademark lawyer, okay? The two regular guys are going to be doing a a live tra a live podcast with it's on Friday, okay? And I'll get the link out to you guys. I'll post it on the page as well, but they're going to have a copyright trademark attorney there that's going to talk about basically things you guys can do and can't do. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I will get, yes, I will get you guys the link. We'll put it, and I'll talk about it in Thursday's live as well. But what I'll do, Pilar, have you already thrown it up in the crafting page? Now, I'm gonna tell you right, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Um, Pilar, what time is it at? Is it one o'clock? It's one of the videos that I pinned in the announcements on the crafting page. Okay, awesome. All of you on TikTok, if you don't know about that page, it's called Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl. It's a Facebook group, okay? And you do have to fill out some questions because it's a, a no drama, no copyright, no trademark. It's not people posting all their Disney designs that they're making and all the stuff you're not actually allowed to do. So it's a pretty tight-knit group as far as trying to do stuff the right way. And we have 
close to 20,000 members in there. But it's not just post a bunch of random Mickey Mouse stuff that you're not technically allowed to sell. And that's what they're going to be. So that's what I was laughing is some of you are going, you're not going to like what you're going to hear probably. Okay. Some of you, you're not going to like what you're going to hear when they start talking about if you're doing, and I'm not going to get into all of it because that's what they're for. But yeah, when it comes to trademark copyright stuff, it's the real deal. And your business will grow pretty quick, okay? Your business will grow pretty quick, but your business will get shut down pretty quick. And it won't get shut down until, until it's, you're successful enough for it to be worth their time. The interview's Friday morning. Okay, and I'll get you guys all the detailed details. I'm going to be live pretty much every day this week at different times. Um, when you do heat transfer vinyl with HTV, anything material, do I have to mirror it? Um, yeah, um, Jay Ponce, you always mirror the heat transfer vinyl because it has a carrier sheet, okay? You do not mirror the HTV anything because you're applying the HTV, the heat transfer vinyl, to that. So, yes, you mirror your heat transfer vinyl. No, you don't mirror the HTV anything. Think of the HTV anything. Here's the easiest way to think of it. Think of HTV anything as your t-shirt, right? You don't mirror your t-shirt. So if you're doing rhinestones with bling anything, same thing. You don't mirror it. Think of that as, okay, sweet. Love it. You're about to do one now. Um, what else we got? Uh, what color was the color spark at? What's up, Scoob? How are you? Um, the color spark that I used here, the red was the candy apple red. The beak, which is like the orange and yellow and everything, is the sunfire. So candy apple opal, sunfire opal, matte black, and then white reflective. Man, I downgraded, but it won't let me upgrade? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe just wait a little bit or maybe even just do it in the morning. Oh, you know what? It's something weird. Who remembers? You had to click like in a different spot, didn't you? Those of you who went back down to like Little League, I think Lisa's on her laptop now or computer because that's why. But... Didn't you have to click somewhere else or scroll down somewhere? I can't see it on mine because I'm the group, so I'm not a member of the group to be able to see, like, what you guys see. So if someone does know, did you have to do anything or click anything different to upgrade back to the All-Star membership? Um, the decal fundraiser pack and info on using it. Um, Tanya's having the same problem I saw as well, as far as upgrading. I know it'll let you. It's just a matter of which one. I forget what it was. Um, but for the decal fundraising pack, it's just, it's a pack basically built for you. It's a fundraiser that's built for you, ready to go. All you need to do is add your logo, add your business name, and then print it out. And you can start bringing that to schools. And bringing that to, um, you can bring it to schools, you can bring it to churches, you can bring it wherever. And it's basically a, a, a no, I mean, it, it, they can't go wrong. If they don't sell any decals, they don't lose any money. And if they sell decals, they make money. But that was basically, and I didn't have one that cool, but something similar is how I built the decal world side of the business. The biggest thing is, and the hardest thing is, is just getting to the schools, obviously, or churches or fundraising groups or whoever it is, and getting out there and accepting no's. If they say no, hey, move on to the next one and the next one and the next one. And you might get 100 no's, but then you'll get that one yes. 
and then you'll get 100 no's and then you'll get four yeses. Everybody always gets frustrated when they get a couple no's off the start and that's when they give up. Oh man, I wish. Any projected dates or um, projected dates or times for in-house training? No, because we don't know, honestly. I mean, Florida's pretty cool as far as just businesses still being allowed to be open and stuff. It's crazy. Loreen um, came back. I was at the warehouse today and I came home and Loreen was talking to a friend that she had, well, a friend that she met at CrossFit that go up in Maine and they come down to Florida every once in a while and they're down in Florida now. And she said that every person she knows, every person she knows that had like small business, like restaurants and bars and different things are, they're all shut down, like out of business. And it, it's definitely sad. So Florida has been pretty good with that as far as we've never had to shut down. Obviously we're being safe with it, but man, yeah, it's sad. Like she had multiple, multiple friends that had businesses with employees and those employees have no jobs. The business is gone. It's, whew. All right, what else we got? So to answer that question, I, I, I honestly have no clue. Same thing like with trade shows, they have no clue. They, they're, they're trying to do the online trade shows. I don't know if any of you have been to them. I don't know what they're like. Um, have any of you guys been to the online trade shows? Let me know. I'm sure they're good and they're, and they're probably free for you guys, I'm assuming. Um, what's the best way to clean your TRW mat? Um, just some mild soap and just literally clean it and then just let it sit and dry out and it'll pull back some of the adhesive. Um, KM, KMC, SS10 or three millimeter stones are all you need. 99% of the designs that I do are S. So those of you who are starting with rhinestones, um, Dawn dish soap, Kristen said is the best, the Dawn dish soap, but to clean the mat. But those of you who are starting with rhinestones or haven't really done it yet, don't go out and buy SS6s, SS10s, SS16s. You're wasting money, okay? Again, I'm telling you to not spend money on our website. Will you eventually use those as you grow your business and you're looking for more complex designs and stuff? Yeah, you will, but you're not going to use them that much. Get SS10s or three millimeter stones and you're good to go. Literally every single, well, I can't say that because we did one just as a test. This one here. But every, even every other tumbler I made was... SS10 stones, except for this one. I did SS16s just because you guys wanted to see what they look like. And it looks pretty damn good. But when it comes to shirt designs and stuff, honestly, the only time that I use like larger stones like SS16s and stuff is if I want a, a font that's maybe a little bit too small and I want to make it a little bit larger, you can't just change the size of a rhinestone font. So I change the size of the stones and then a design that let's say is seven inches, when I go to SS16 stones, will jump out to about 10 inches and now it'll be an awesome size. Um, that color, Jean Marie, that's the unicorn prism. Yeah, that's the one that, what, what did that one sell out in, like six minutes? when we first got it. We got more in stock now though. 
Um, Robert Sanchez, good question. What is the difference between HTV anything and Bling anything? And I will show you. So, Bling anything can technically work for everything. So, if you already have Bling anything, you can technically do this with it, which I press the glitter heat transfer vinyl, I layered it, and then I pressed rhinestones on top of it. I'm using HTV anything for this now because for you guys, again, it's less expensive, okay? Bling anything is when you do a decal, a rhinestone decal for like a car window that is only rhinestones. There's no glitter back behind this one. So the only material that you can use for this is the bling anything. HTV anything, if you press rhinestones directly to HTV anything, they will fall off, okay? And I'm sure some of you will still try it, and then you'll call us, and then you'll say they fell off, and then I'm gonna say, I told you so. Because you're gonna try and save material, right? Believe me, I would've done the same thing. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not blaming you for it. But, and the reason why is we made the HTV anything kind of formulation different because we wanted the, a lot of times you guys see the bling anything. Those of you who have used bling anything before, you know how when you press it, the bling anything kind of gets almost like those little melt marks on it and it kind of gets a little bit cloudy. Those of you who have used bling anything, do you know what I'm talking about? So it's almost like the bling anything almost kind of melts a little bit. And I know a lot of you know, right? I see you guys saying yes. So that's the point of the bling anything. We want it to do that because the stones are kind of forming into the material and the material kind of forms around the stones. So that's awesome when you're doing just rhinestones. Where it's not awesome is if you're doing a, uh, what's a good example? Uh, even something like this. When you're doing something like this and you have a contour around it or don't want a contour, you're gonna see all those cloudy marks and it's not gonna look great. That's where we developed the HTV anything where it doesn't get those melt marks and those cloudy marks, it stays super clear because that heat isn't really kind of penetrating that top layer of the material. Does that make somewhat sense to you guys? So, bling anything technically, you could use for anything, okay? Either one of these projects, this one or this one. Same thing with the full rhinestone tumblers. Bling anything or HTV anything. You could use either of them, all right? If you want a glitter heat transfer vinyl decal to look the cleanest and the best, HTV anything is your material, okay? If you want just rhinestones, bling anything is your material. Sweet, Robert. Awesome. Glad it helped. Um, bling, yes, I can show you. There's a little bit of a difference between them. And we actually just changed it for there to be more of a difference. So, bling anything has a little bit, can you guys see like a little bit of a yellow tint to it here? Bling anything has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. And it's a little bit harder to see through. HTV anything, we change the backing so it's super clear. So see how much easier, and let me just kind of put my hand up against it. See this right here? Versus this right here, okay? So I'm gonna mix them up and we're gonna play a game and I want you guys to tell me which one it is. Ready? 
Which one is this? HTV anything or bling anything? Look at you guys. Correct, 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 correct. See, I explained that damn good, didn't I? All right, hold on. Which one? is this. Which one's this? Damn it, I tried to trick you guys and it didn't work. I tried to flip it around so you couldn't see that cut mark. But you guys got it. You guys got it. So again, see how it's hard to see my hand through this one? That's the bling anything. I haven't come back to the HTV anything yet, but let me show you. Look at the difference of the HTV anything. You can see my hand directly through it. It's a huge difference. So you can use that honestly as the test when you're at the house. See how good I can see my hand through this? This is HTV anything. And what's my, the best way is gonna be to hold them up side by side for you here. Let me grab that little piece here. Hold on. Look at, here, maybe if I hold them like this. Ooh, ah. Look at the difference. Oh, damn it. Look at the difference. My left hand with my ring on, okay? Versus this guy here. Can you guys see what a difference that is? So which one is this one? Big difference, right? Yes, HTV anything, bling anything. HTV anything, bling anything. Do you guys want some real bling anything? Hold on. This and this. So, there's the real bling anything. Bling. Hey, what's up, baby? Did you say hi? Oh. You say hi to everybody? Huh? Okay, you go back to sleep. I know, we woke you up. Quit bothering me. Doesn't she blend in with this big old bean bag perfect? How do you keep the dog hair off your mats? <laughs> uh, that was a good one, Tracy. I wish. Tracy, how do you? Because if you do, please tell me. You don't. <laughs> Here's how you do, Tracy. You never let the mats hit the floor. <laughs> That's the only way. And they still find a way. Right? All right. I need to work on some more wizard stuff. I know. Lint rollers galore. Right? Yes. I have... <laughs> Seriously. What are these lip rollers full of? <laughs> There's bling right there. And Wrigley, but you can't see Wrigley's white hair as much. I keep these guys handy. Because of you, doggy. You make a mess. Quit shedding. 
I have to vacuum the dog. <laughs> Bling would freak out. Awesome. All right. I gotta work on, I'm gonna work on this video. I'll probably get it posted on TikTok tonight. If not, probably first thing in the morning um, to show the layering on this. But again, get a chom chom. What is a chom chom? Worth every penny for pet hair. We have the Neatos, like an iRobot. We actually have two of them that go around the house. Is that what a chom chom is? I've never heard of a chom chom. A chom chom. All right, I'm looking that up. Is it that what it is? Is it just like a vacuum? Like one of the uh, robot va vacuum guys? It's handheld. Okay. I will look up chom chom. Products we love, baby. <laughs> An advanced lint roller. Okay. All right, let's go. Um, shield, you should not be able to see through the carrier. Yeah, the carrier on the vinyl shield is white. It isn't going to have that yellow tint like the bling anything. Awesome. Thank you, Stacy. All right. Again, sale. It'll go through the morning, basically. It'll go through the morning because most of you guys or a lot of you guys are all over in Pacific time and everything else. So, the New Year sale is still going on right now. It'll go through basically the morning, and then um, I'm sure I'll probably be live at some point tomorrow. Maybe I'll hop on live right before the sale ends, just to give you that last minute warning. All right, crew. So, TikTok, hey, appreciate all you guys. Thanks for coming by. Go check the website for the New Year, end of the year sale. 65% off designs, 15% off all of the different color spark vinyls, heat transfer vinyls, reflective vinyls, 30% off Korean stones, 15% off diamond cut stones. Um, it's a pretty big sale. So check it out. We extended it because a lot of people were having issues last night. All right, TikTok. Hey, appreciate all you guys. I'm going to work on a video for you guys here in a little bit. All right. Later. YouTube, appreciate you guys. I will see you guys probably tomorrow at some point. I'll probably hop on YouTube for a quick reminder before the sale is done. All right? Um, probably mid-morning-ish. All right, crew. I'll, I, won't, I won't go too early for you Pacificers. So maybe 8, 9, 10, maybe 11 or 12 a.m. Eastern. So 8 or 9 Pacific. You should be up by then working. Let's go. All right, YouTube, have an amazing night. Appreciate you guys. Later.